mahal ng Diyos, hindi na tumba yung iso. Dalawa. Dalawa hindi na tumba, mahal to ng Diyos. So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So what I have here today is potentially my electric car of the year. This is the all new Dongfang 4 Thing Friday electric vehicle. A little bit of a tongue twister yeah, for Thing Friday but let's keep it at Friday EV. Not much people know about this so like with the earlier huge hybrid that I did a review of, check that out on my channel. For Thing is actually a sub-brand 2 of Nongfeng. So they mainly do electric vehicles and MPVs. So it's a little bit interesting yet again that Dongfeng decided to smash all the names together. With the looks of this Dongfeng 14 Friday, it's pretty unique I have to say. So you have a very aggressive front looking clip and then when you go here to the side, it's a very subtle and very clean looking uh, crossover. One of the few crossovers that I know that does not have a roof rails whatsoever and no chrome at all in this Uh, Friday EV. Very good with the design of it. So the most striking uh, appearance here with this Friday EV is definitely the front clip. So you have hexagonal shapes around the grille and then some parts around the headlights are all black. All LED lights as well. To be honest, the front clip of this, doesn't it look like when Batman uses uh, his makeup when he wears the mask? Well, I did see a Black Friday EV in the showroom too. That looks pretty sweet too. You have orange accents all around the vehicle and plastic uh, cladding here whatsoever but it's not in the way that much. There's not here over the wheel arches but they're present here just in the side profile and the front and rear bumpers. LED repeaters on each side and yet again the side mirrors are located on the door. It's not integrated here to improve aerodynamics and lessen wind noise in the cabin. And you have an EV line badge over here on the side. So pairing this Friday EV is what intrigued me the most as well, before I forget. You have puddle lamps too with the Forting brand, another nice touch over there. And pop up the hood. You have hood studs too which is interesting and yes the electric motors are stored here up front. So what we have here is a 57.8 kilowatt hour battery. Rated power is 107 horsepower but peak power is 201 horsepower and you have a total of 340 newton meters of torque. I really wish I can tell you about the driving dynamics right now but let's save that later on in the review. So I'd like to thank as well Dongfeng Motors Philippines and Tomis Fatima for making this all possible and I'm gonna bring this to a very crazy event tomorrow. <laughs> I cannot wait to show you guys. That again will be a separate video. There are two variants with this Friday EV. So what I have here is the long range variant. So this has a total of 630 kilometers of pure electric range. And the cost for all of this is 2,580,000 pesos. Yes, it's a little bit steep, but if you want something a little bit cheaper, there is a standard variant with 430 kilometers, which costs 1,980,000 pesos. 600,000 peso difference. That is as well quite a lot. It's not like some other EVs where the standard and the long range variants are only priced almost close together. This one at least are priced way far apart. On the side profile too, you have orange accents all around the vehicle including the wheels. These are as well running on 19 inches and Yokohama blue earth tires. So I'm a little bit worried for my event tomorrow because these are just uh, eco tires. And then here at the rear of the uh, Friday EV, yes you have a very nice LED light bar that stretches throughout the rear. But this part, this rear quarter part of the Friday EV, doesn't it look like the GAC MPAO? I mean, there's a lot of resemblance. And as you can see here, you have a charging port here on the left side. They are present too on either side. So for your slow charging, you can charge at least from empty to 100% in around 10 hours. Then in a fast charger, you can charge from 30% to 80% in under 35 minutes, which is pretty handy in uh, today's world of EVs. I know there are fake vents on either side, but at least it houses the ports anyway. Again, more cladding here with the orange accents and a the carbon fiber trim-ish diffuser. So open this booth up. So there is no official figures uh, given by Dongfeng Motors Philippines, but the space here in general is really good. So this is like almost around 500 liters of space. And then on the left side, you only have a sole LED light, but at least you have a tonneau cover right over here and then you can store it uh, as is if you're gonna extend the boot space which as well I think almost equates to 1,300 liters 
and underneath there's literally nothing. It's just a large cubby space, so that means there's no uh, space saver or even a spare tire in general for this Friday EV. So yeah, that's about here with the exterior, the electric motor, and the boot of this Friday EV. Let's check out the interior. So this is the interior of the Dongfeng 14 Friday EV. So here in the door card, I love the green accents including this weird green chrome strip that stretches all the way throughout the door. And two, you have green stitches all around, even here in the cabin. And then, mm, that sounds really good. And then you have cubby spaces, cup holders on either side. My big water jug just fits there. One very big uh, neat pick of mine immediately with this uh, door card. I really wish this part, well the part I expected the most that to be leather is all plastic that stretches. I mean some parts here in front of the uh, dashboard but these ones are all squeegee materials at least. So let's start this up. And then you have memory seating functions too. You have four settings for it if you want which is quite a lot. And then here overall in the interior, wow! <laughs> The biggest highlight definitely is the seats. They really look like uh, European sport bucket seats, especially like than the ones of Mercedes. And two, here with your uh, air conditioning vents. And I love your, your Forting logo here on the seats. And then you have this kind of Cortex uh, material here throughout the seats, including the ones in the back. So the Cortex, what I know, is actually a mix of leather and alcantara that's how i can describe it uh, at least electronic adjustments for all of the seats even in here in front as well too with uh, lumbar support for the driver's seat only yeah only for the driver's seat and then here on the left side of the dashboard you have your air conditioning vent further down you have two blanks and then you have your side mirror adjustments electronic stability control electronic tailgate and further down you have a small storage compartment here in the steering wheel, it's as well a flat bottom and then you have your buttons for your phone connectivity and instrument cluster adjustments and on the right side you have your 360 degree camera and your adaptive cruise control buttons and there's one button here you can configure for what example for taking a snapshot for the uh, for the 360 degree camera or as a mute button so I just uh, left it as a mute button but it's a little bit weirder separate here from the volume and here on the right side but just a small nitpick only and I like there's this gloss black trim around the buttons itself yes it's gloss black but doesn't seem too scratchy whatsoever and it's just a small amount only this Friday EV is dominated by two screens the one here for your instrument cluster all of your important info is just displayed there and as well you have three diving modes which is right here beside the electronic parking brake auto hold function and for your heel descent control one blank button only but that's fine so you have eco normal and sport mode okay so we will get to the diving modes as well later on in the video because for me i just being honest this is not the most powerful ev out there but this sport mode is among one of the most violent I've ever tested on my channel. So we get back to that. Here in your infotainment system, the response time, the resolution is really good. Sadly, you do not have Apple CarPlay nor Android Auto. But I tried for the first time. This has a Carbit mirror link and I tried it out. It's really good. It literally just mirrors your phone. Android users will rejoice. You can literally play YouTube with this. If I, if you want, but just please be careful when you're diving. And as well with the maps, it's pretty responsive. So with Apple phones, okay, it still does the job. However, though, you cannot touch it anymore on the screen. But you have to control the stuff in your phone, which I find really weird. But hey, I'm an Android user, so I'm, I'm okay with that. And then further down here, I love this uh, silver trim here that stretches all the way to the right side of the dashboard. You have again the chrome green strip over here. And then here in the middle, I don't know what this is for but now you can think of putting coins over here. Then further down you have your touch sensitive air conditioning controls. The aircon here is as well really really cold. It's as good as any EV I've tried out to on my channel. Then open this one up. It reveals a cubby space too along with a USB port. And way further down, you have a large storage space along too with a 12 volt socket and a USB port. And another highlight for me too with the 14 Friday is this pebble shifter. Well, it looks crystal but it's so beautiful to look at. So this Friday EV feels much more luxurious than usual. So you got the exterior looks even here in the interior. Yeah, 
<laughs> it feels really European uh, in my opinion only. Around in the gear shift you have a nice gloss black with green weaves on them and then quality here the center console is not moving whatsoever and then on the right side you have two cup holders with plastic grips around them. Center console box okay pretty decent as well there is a cooler function just inside so I'm gonna use this a lot tomorrow in the event. And then above here you have your controls for the panoramic moonroof, LED lights, and a sunglasses holder. There's so many highlights with this uh, Friday EV, so I'm fanboying a bit. Yes, you, this uh, moonroof does not open, but once you drive this at night, this has a starlight display. So this is like a Rolls Royce on a budget. It's so beautiful, especially uh, at night here in the cabin. Yeah, this taking this for Friday EV is taking a lot of boxes for me already. So back here above, you have in your sun visor, you have a, a very interesting vanity mirror with a surround LED light. So that's the first time I encountered that too. Wow, this is all leather. Ooh, please. Anyway. <laughs> so back here in the infotainment system, so swipe it to the right. You have your settings over here. You can do literally a lot of stuff here, like for the display, for the brightness here and there. And then for connecting for Bluetooth and this has two onboard Wi-Fi which is really good and then for your vehicle settings you have ambient light too I set it at red of course and then for your seats you have seat ventilations and seat warmer with this this is been stone cold already I've been very impressed with the uh, seats of this then for your diving assistance, you have your forward collision warning and your lane departure warning system. Okay, I'll be honest, the forward collision warning is a little bit uh, too sensitive, but at least you can uh, adjust them to your set of preference. So I just left it in uh, normal. And the lane departure warning only reads the lines when it's literally all white, not the faded ones out. So watch out for that. And then here for your dynamic, you have your energy recovery mode, single pedal driving, super power saving mode. Basically, you can one pedal drive this thing and you have your energy recovery mode, which is your region for the braking, which captures a lot. And what I like to, you can adjust the brakes for your preference too. So if you want the setting of this really light and max recovery uh, system for the braking, you can do that. And then if you go back here to the accessory, I don't know why it's, it, I think that's just a little bit of a typo. It's supposed to say accessory. So anyway, go back there. You can literally set your steering modes to three modes, cozy, standard, sport. Same with the brake modes. I'll mention the brakes now uh, since I'll just leave it in one constant mode in standard. That is the best mode. Just enough travel, just enough bite. Sport mode, I love. You all know me. I am a fast driver. But that's a little bit to sports car level already so and the bites really really high but I might uh, use that tomorrow and for the steering mode you have cozy as well it's very easy to dive even standard sport mode there's just enough health to it but for first time divers this will still be uh, very easy although for first timers uh, as well just stay in eco and normal mode avoid sport mode for the meantime okay I'll, again I'll get back to that in the diving segment so yeah, that's about here in front of this 14 Friday EV. Let's check out the rear seats. So these are the rear seats of the Friday EV. So here in the rear door card, exactly the same like the ones in front. But again, this part is all plastic. But it makes up for it for all of the green trims over here. And space here in the back, wow, for a compact electric crossover it's pretty good zone so feet room knee room and despite the moonroof i have a lot of headroom so i think around five eight i think even up to six footers will just be all right here in the rear and then behind the sport bucket seats you have two map pockets on either side and two unique for an ev you have two three kilogram hooks on either side and it's set right in the uh, perfect position it's in the middle not like some toyotas it's all the way down no offense though and here in the middle you have two air conditioning vents it's all surrounded in gloss back and further down below you have a usb port and surprisingly a 220 volt outlet this is the first ev that i've encountered with a household socket very good with that dong thing and the rear seats overall here and generally here in the rear pretty much the same and I love the black and green tone here in the rear seats and sitting here in the middle it's a little bit more comfortable than in left than the left and right side of the seats but just a little bit only the all down to the cushion which is really soft and sadly you don't have a uh, seat ventilation uh, here in the rear but that's just small nitpick of mine only then central armrest you have 
two cup holders with flimsy grips around them and yeah above and then two led lights and grab handles on either side too and as you can see in the shot here the moonroof stretches all the way here to the rear which is very good only exclusive for the driver seat once you play with the air conditioning knob there's a seat option once you play with everything the driver seat has a massage function that is among one of the most comfortable things i've ever had it's a little bit scary for me personally because it's so good the massage function that i might tend to fall asleep on the road just please be careful for uh, first time users if ever and yeah there's a lot of modes you can do my favorite is the wave the standard one but i do like the overlap where it just goes either left and right up and down i really love that function so yeah that's about it here with the friday ev let's go for a drive two days later so now finally driving the dongfeng Feng friday <laughs> ev I would say this is the best experience I had with an electric car. Driving dynamics, the tech, the range, it's been perfect in my four days with it. Now I would be a little bit more technical than usual since uh, I drove this yesterday at Jim Kana's to practice autocross event yesterday. And yes, Dongfang Philippines allowed me to take part in this with the Friday EV. It was to the first crossover to compete in the event. In the video, I somewhat pushed the Friday to its limit. I was just a little bit more cautious than usual. Hence, this was a uh, media unit. The car at heartbreaking, surprisingly, is really really good the body roll is kept to a minimum and it doesn't nose dive as much as i expected compared only with some other uh, chinese brands out there the handling is great too it's very light the car at heartbreaking under acceleration too is impressive it darts around like you're just driving a sedan well slash sports car if you're driving in a straight line and the driving modes i used in the event was just eco mode because here it's just tame sport mode it's too violent yeah, it, this will skid its tires like crazy and as well literally in sport mode all the time this, this will keep burning out as much as you like if the tires will last The chassis is well balanced too. It doesn't flex unlike some other crossovers in its segment. One weird thing uh, only, there's this weird creek that sometimes uh, we, we, we cannot pinpoint on where this creek is, is coming from. There, I think you've heard that on camera. It only happens when you're braking or at hard acceleration only. Yeah, that was just one issue, to be honest, we found with this 14 Friday EV. But make no mistake, this is an EV. Okay, like with every other electric vehicle out there, the torque is instantaneous. As well, you have 340 newton meters on the top. But it's just weird I found with uh, the, the Dongfang uh, specifications that there's a rated power of 107 horsepower, I, as I mentioned uh, earlier in the electric motor segment. But I think this is literally just constant 201 horsepower, which is actually a very good power to torque ratio because the torque is much, much more uh, powerful than some of its competitors out there. This is a chat demo uh, for the fast charger. Well, I've experienced that already with the with its competitor, the WM W5, where I did the, for the 20 kilowatt hour uh, charging station. It's a little bit expensive than usual because uh, we charge this for 30 minutes, then we we started with 23 percent, charged it up all the way to 30 percent. Then we had an additional 42 kilometers of range, which cost 190 pesos. Okay, I see expensive because knowing the 60 kilowatt hour exists and our experience too with the BMW iX, check that out on my channel. I would say the 60 kilowatt hour was a bit more worth it. I wish you can do it too uh, with this Dongfang Friday uh, EV. And then highway driving, it's very smooth, it's stable. This is definitely to one of the best NVH I've tried in any Chinese car, hands down. And the tire noise is kept to a minimum and there's no wind noise too. Weirdly though, uh, in highway driving, these are the estimations what I've experienced. It consumes around 2% and 12 kilometers in uh, eco mode, excuse me. And in nor But in normal and sport mode, it's way less. Hmm, so this kind of acts like an 
but a combustion engine at the same time regardless only with the driving modes and driving style and eco mode i do love its tame nature that's the mode i was using to in the autocross event because again normal and sport mode is just it had a hard time uh putting its power down you turn test to in tight spaces again like in the autocross event this is handling is very very tight i think too this is one of the best handling uh, crossovers in its segment well in generally regardless it's ev or a normal combustion engine yeah this 14 friday ev is ticking all the boxes for me yes the price as i mentioned two million five hundred and eighty thousand pesos i was doubting it at first but now this is worth every penny my biggest turn off uh, to be honest was at first was the absence of android auto and apple carplay but Having tied out car bit uh, merely, it's very much complete a complete car already. You get adaptive cruise control. You have a very good uh, 360 degree camera. Driving dynamics is good too. And speaking of driving dynamics, the sh chassis is really really good. Again, it does not flex unlike some other Chinese vehicles. Because when I mean by flexing, uh, you can hear some creaks noises here and there, like in the doors. And again, that's why it's uh, called a chassis flex. So yeah. That concludes my review of this uh, 14 Friday EV. One more time. <laughs> Fly! <Whee! laughs> right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is my electric car of the year. Congratulations to Dongfang Motors Philippines for lending me out for couple of days with this and as well thank you thank you so much for allowing me to compete in the jig camera to practice autocross event yesterday so i'd like to thank them yet again and to everyone involved in this uh, review and to phoebe here behind the uh, camera so hope you guys like and subscribe so this is probably my last review of the year and i will see you with more car reviews coming along very soon next month next year bye bye